In the past week, we have seen a welcome slowing in some of the hardest hit countries in Europe, like Spain, Italy, Germany, and France. On a personal note, I was pleased to see my friend Boris Johnson is no longer in intensive care. Hello, everyone. At the same time, we have seen an alarming acceleration in other countries. I want to take a moment to highlight Africa, where we are seeing the spread of the virus to rural areas. We are now seeing clusters of cases and community spread in more than 16 countries. We anticipate severe hardship for already overstretched health systems, particularly in rural areas. <laughs> Countries who, you know, relatively uh, have the strongest health system uh, have been actually surprised uh, by this uh, pandemic. Um, it shows uh, that any uh, system uh, could have gaps. And we, we should have the humility to see to what extent our system is prepared and where are the gaps and how can we improve it for the future. I think from this pandemic, we have to try to learn, focus on learning what the gaps are. This is not a message only for the developing world. This is a message even for the developed countries. But we can see now through this pandemic, there is a serious challenge or vulnerability even in countries who claim to have the strongest health system. 